All right, it's Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And Ms. Murphy. Right, and we are here to talk about using the GDCs with quadratics. And in this one, we are going to talk about window management. Where's my graph? I can't find it. Um, we're going to talk about how to find the vertex, and then, hence, the equation of axis of symmetry. So let's get to a problem. We're given the following quadratic. We want to find the maximum or minimum, hence the vertex, and then find the equation of the axis of symmetry. Well, if I go to my y equals, I've taken the liberty to already graph it. And if I zoom to 6, which is my standard window, I get my graph here. Well, I can see from this window that my vertex is already off. But if I know my window settings go from negative 10 to 10 in all, all directions. And so that means this is 10, negative 10, 10, and 10. And it's basically negative a, 10. <laughs> right negative 10. And this is a box basically around here. But in reality, this graph covers a great big giant box out here, it could, right? It goes on forever, this box. The curve comes down here. So maybe the y-axis down might be negative 20 they need to go to. Or maybe go up to 20. Or maybe go out to 30 or to negative 30. And so you have to see this parabola as just part of part of like a window somewhere in the world and it just you just change your window where you want it to form you can shrink it down stretch it over and so for our sake we want to go down a little bit we basically want to see this part down here okay and so i'm going to take my my y value which is a minimum and i'm going to drag it down and i'll put it all the way down to negative 20 so let's make my y va my my minimum negative 20 We'll make, oh, a 20. Uh, Oops. 20. And we'll make our maximum, I don't know, let's make it 5. And the x scale, we'll make the ticks go by 5s as well. And my x values, um, I think 10 to negative 10 will be sufficient. Yeah, so we'll leave it as it is and we'll hit graph. And so now what we've done is I've basically changed my calculator setting to be the red window. I'm just kind of move where I'm looking. So now, to find all that information that we want to find, we go to our calculator and I want to I go second trace, which is my calculate menu. That is a huge menu, lots of cool things. I want to find the minimum or maximum, which is where my vertex is. Well, I know it's in this case it's a minimum. Hit enter. And so now it asked me for the left bounds, a question. Well I know it's around, if I look at my graph, it's around, the x value is around 0. So I'm going to guess to the left of that value. I'm going to guess negative 2. Enter. And so there's a little arrow there saying, oh, it's over on this side. Right bound, I'll pick maybe 3, and guess it looks to estimate around 0. And when I do, I get this value here. Let's see what it says a little more carefully. Okay, it says, 0.2550018, negative 1.415. Well, the calculator is doing some rounding. This really means that the minimum value is uh, 0 0.25, comma, negative 14.125. And that's what the minimum would be, or the vertex. So this is the vertex. Hence, the axis of symmetry. What's that going to be, Mr. Cole? Okay, so we just need to look at our x value. So it's going to be x equals 0 0.25, or x equals a quarter. Right, or that. And so the whole key is to go to get your window set properly, and then either minimum or maximum, and set your left and right bound.